get your name and position within X Broken. My name is Martin. My name is Charlotte Wanwell. I am Kit Joubert. Uh, Tilly Wake. My name's Alex. Um, my name's Livy. My name's Jack Middleton. I'm Alexander Pritchard. Hi, I'm Orla. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Ashford, and I'm a member of the Business and Publicity team. I am the Welfare Secretary of X Racing, and I'm also in the Composites team. I am the powertrain lead of X Racing this year. And I'm the team principal for X Racing this year. What happened last season? Last season was disappointing for everyone, I think. Long story short, we came to the event, we had no car. Uh, well, we had a chassis and we had some broken suspension, but we couldn't even push the car around. It was being pushed on dollies, so. I wanted to become team principal because I saw what the team could become. And I felt that I could take the team from where it was, build it and grow it into a competitive team that's at the top of the grid year on year and lay the foundation for the years to come. This season, from kind of a top level view, I really wanted to just set the foundations for the years to come. So have all of the infrastructure in place that the team can continue to do well for, you know, however many years into the future. Formula student is probably the best thing at university if you're a petrol head. It's this amazing competition between universities. We each uh, form a team, we each build a car completely by students. Um, and then once a year we go to Silverstone and we compete. The car is split into different sections with different sub teams and each one will be responsible for that area. So there's, there's composites where we're doing all the aerodynamics and the manufacture of the bodywork. Or there's powertrain where you're working on engine. Engines, if they work, we most teams tend to reuse them. However, the competition um, makes us do some um, design changes every year. We can't just make a really good car, spend some money on it, and then reuse it every year. So the chassis, for example, has to be different, or the vehicle dynamics have to be, have to be different as well. And each different sub team then comes together at the end and unite, and then hopefully an entire car is there through the different sections. This time last year, we'd only just finished designing the chassis. This year's chassis was finished in um, October, early October, and it's fully assembled now. So that kind of puts into perspective how far behind we were last season. The suspension didn't even get designed until um, March, April time. So nothing was happening on time, nothing was being made. I, I think I push people to, um, to strive for the best that they can produce. Uh, but I think also I'm very fair about how I do that. I, I give my expectations up front. People know what to expect from me. And if people don't want to um, hit the deadlines or hit the targets that I'm setting, that's absolutely fine. We can re review how we delegate that work. Other people can t pick it up. We can distribute it amongst more people. Uh, as long as people communicate with me so I know what expectations to have, I think I'm very fair with, um, with what I expect. So it's that's pretty much chassis, stronger, and um, yeah. yeah. That's not good. That's not supposed to do that. <laughs> <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, how is that? What's bad? Eleven. What's this thing pinged on? What they mean? Oh, no, in the in fairness. It was a form like that, and then towards the end, it went bang and all the wells broke, and um, that's when she pulled off the test. So, what? <laughs> so, we did half the way that we need to. Oh. We did half the way that we need to, and also, we somehow bent the entire test jig as well. That makes sense to me. What, what is this question again? I'm really proud of everyone. My comments on the team morale is that it's been extremely strong this year. We've got a great community that I've never seen in the history of X Racing. Would you be disappointed in the team if you didn't get top 10? I wouldn't be disappointed in the team. Um, I'd be disappointed 
probably myself, it really depends why we didn't come top 10. If there was a tiny uh, electrical fault that no one could have foreseen uh, that caused us to fail endurance, then I'm not going to be disappointed that you know, that's the way it crumbles. Um, if something major happens and there's some blockers, something goes wrong, um, then whatever the source of that is, probably be me. Of course, I'm going to be disappointed. <laughs>